Thanks, so if we have A, B, and C, like this. And where are the cross products? I know, it's really going to bug you. It's going to bug me, too. The cross products are all the perpendicular vectors, right? So this is a perpendicular vector, that's a perpendicular vector, and that's a perpendicular vector, right? But if they're all equal, if they're all equal to each other, it means their magnitudes are the same. So what does that tell you? It tells you that, so this right here, the magnitude of this vector is also the area of that par parallelogram, right? Correct? Um, but then what about this one right here? What parallelogram is this the area to? This one right here, right? See that? And then what's this one going to And then B, what's that one going to be? Like that one right there. The point is you get any two sides of those parallel. When you, when you take any two sides of a triangle and make a parallelogram, you're going to get a par When you take any two sides of a triangle and form a parallelogram out of those two sides, it doesn't matter what two sides you pick, the, res the area of the resultant parallelogram will always be the same. Does that kind of make sense? So if I drew, I'll do an extreme version of this. Let's do a, like an extreme version. So if I did like long, short, long, right? What parallelograms can I draw from this? I could do this one, right? I just made a parallelogram out of that. Now what other, so there's the blue one. What about, I could do a red one, right? I could do this one right here, correct? So what is that? From there, from there. And then what's the other one I could do? I could do, I need another color here, uh, green. What's the next one I could do? I could do like that one. Those three parallelograms are all going to have the same, the same volume, same area. Cool? Yeah. Okay. Anything? Any triangle. Any triangle. That's, yeah, that's kind of cool. I would have just said they're coplanar. Anyway. If you try, if you use, so what's the, uh, what's the scale? If, if this is true, by the way, so here's another thing to think about here, and you can do this with logic. If this is true, this is just a side question. If that's true, what's A dot B cross C? If A plus B plus C is zero, what is A dot B cross C? A, you've seen A dot B cross C. What is that? That's the formula for the what? The area of the parallelopiped, right? Yeah. But if the three vectors add together to get zero, what happens? It's zero. Exactly. It's zero. Right. Cool? Because they're coplanar. If you try to find, if you try to make a three-dimensional shape out of things that only exist on the plane, you you have problems. We well, will have a problem. We all have problems. Two x plus y minus what? Five z. Five z is equal to what? Equal to what? Nine. No, I'm not doing that. Don't make me break things. <laughs> Mr. Seaman designs the worst questions ever. <laughs> Do this by hand. <laughs> okay, that's a plane, right? Do you agree? Sure. Yes. Yeah. Sure. What's a vector perpendicular to it? You have three seconds. Three, two, one. Yeah, two, two i. Two i. Y is not. So just I give mean, me a vector. Two i. Two, oh, i. Yeah. Two, one, negative five. Done. Yeah. Right? No, I said <laughs> Because what? The coefficients of x, yeah. y, and z give you the abs. It's the normal the vector, normal right? Vector. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Um, the one thing you guys tend to, I think the, 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 the hardest thing for you all to get your head around is just to remember this diagram, everybody. What are all those vectors? Oh, the one with the shadows. The F so if this is V, right? The... And then you have maybe the N vector, uh, the U, not N, U. I'm sorry, they look the same. Like this? And the U vector is a Yeah, we call it, we make it a unit vector. What is this vector right here? This that is V what? V parallel. And then v because it goes like this. And then where's V perpendicular? Right. right there. And that is? V perp, like there. Got it? Is that like coming up to solve the quiz question? The quiz question, like what's, what's the, basically I was asking what's the component of the current in the direction of the boat, like that part of the question you were asking for? We can pull that out, yeah. But that's what you're doing. You were literally doing a vector projection that we're supposed to. Do you remember how to find that? Remember what, what was V parallel equal to? Anybody remember? Oh, is it, um, v parallel is equal to what? V, v dot U. U times u. Yes, you just had to do that. It's v dot u times u. Because this right here is the magnitude you want, and this is the direction you want. You just have to remember that. So if you, you can do these real quick if you remember some of the definitions. You don't have to prove this every time. You have to know it every time.